Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I want to share with you something I'm excited about. I just ordered some fish from my friend James Largo over at the Cichlid Shack in Arizona. I received a gift certificate for Christmas from, uh, from my son-in-law, so I went ahead and took advantage of that. And I'm getting some new fish sent out to me. I want to share those fish with you and also a couple fish that are on my uh, fish dream list and I want to get your take on them. Let me know what you think would be good tank mates for the fish I have already. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it and uh, talk about it now. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that uh, sub button and that bell and it makes a big difference. It tells YouTube that you're getting something out of the channel and it uh, encourages YouTube, the algorithm, to put the channel in front of other fish keepers. So if you can do that, be greatly appreciated. So uh, let's talk uh, a little bit about some fish that I have coming in. I uh, placed the order and I'll go ahead and show them to you. And uh, let's see here. All right. So James, James Largo has a fish, a... Uh, it's actually a, an OB that he calls a Skittle. And uh, that OB was on the list. It's a beautiful OB. The picture doesn't do him justice. I also ordered uh, two other types of fish, which you see scrolling through in the photos. I have a, a couple viejas coming in, along with a Skittle, the Skittle fish, what he calls Skittles. So I have a, a, uh, an OB, which will be going into this tank behind me. Uh, keeping company with the uh, strawberry and the uh, redfin borlei that's in there. And I have a uh, the two viejas, which will go in this tank, along with my geophagus and the, uh, the severum, red-spotted severum, and the electric blue Jack Dempsey. And I also, also ordered, and I'm very excited about this fish because I think they're just, they're just stunning. I have a red shoulder severum coming in you can see him here in the photo red shoulder severum and um, i really like the severums i, I love the uh, temperament of the fish and uh, those red shoulders can be you know when they put on some size and color can be very spectacular so uh, we'll see we'll see how he gets along with the red spotted uh, severum and certainly if there's any other fish you think i should add to that combination i wanted to get a hold of a um I wanted to get a hold of what James calls the Phoenix. You can see the Phoenix fish here. It's a fish that is bred by James at the Cichlid Shack. And I, uh, he didn't have them. They're out of stock. He also has a, uh, there's also an electric blue or a green Texas and a chocolate cichlid that I'd like to get my hands on. Do you folks have experience with the, um, the electric blue or the green Texas? Definitely let me know. Also with the chocolate, how do you think they would get along with my fish? I'm also looking for a Z-Rock. And of course, I'm still looking for a green tear. A uh, green tear, especially with that beautiful uh, yellow and orange on the tail. And I'm also looking for your standard Jack Dempsey. Now, I'm not sure. Do you think a Jack Dempsey is going to be a problem with the electric blue Jack Dempsey I have? because I don't want that electric blue Jack Dempsey to be under stress. I really like that little guy. I want him to, uh, to do well. I know that they have a short lifespan because of some DNA peculiarities that they have. So if you think that a regular Jack Dempsey is gonna be harassing the electric blue, or if you have experience with a Jack Dempsey harassing an electric blue Jack Dempsey, let me know and maybe I'll hold off on getting a Jack Dempsey. But I definitely want the green tear. Uh, that's definitely on my, uh, on my list of fish that I want to add to the uh, South American, Central American tank. I'd love to have a Jack Dempsey, but not if he's going to be terrorizing other fish. So um, that's what's coming up with, uh, with my future fish. And um, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is just a very short, quick update. And uh, I alluded to some of this in the live stream. If you uh, missed the live stream, be sure and tune in Saturdays at 10 a.m. Central 
for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream, where I get to interact with you, give you updates in a live format, and also answer your questions. Also, um, be sure to follow on Facebook at Ben O apostrophe Cichlid. Be sure to answer all the questions so that the ad admins at the Facebook page let you in. And also follow on Instagram at Ben dot o dot cichlid thank you for tuning in my friends this was just a very quick update on some fish i'm excited about i'm like a kid in a candy store and i mentioned in the live stream this this whole south american uh tank setup is is creating a lot of excitement for me i'm still excited about african cichlids i want to get a um autopharynx tetrastigma i want to get a uh you know, there, there are other fish I want to add to the collection, so I haven't lost my, my fire about African cichlids, but I'm pretty fired up about, these, uh, about the, the possibilities with South American and, um, and Central American fish. All right, thank you for tuning in, my friend. You are appreciated. Hope to see you on Saturday at the live stream. Bye-bye.